Hey, RMP team. Good to see everybody today. How are y'all doing? You know, obviously last year was a weird year, but uh, hopefully we're, we're seeing uh, the end of this crisis coming soon. But in 2021, we've got a couple of very important missions that we've got to take care of. And our first mission is we want to save our clients some money and maximize their bond programs. And then secondly, we got to come up with some creative ideas for our clients as well on how to how to use surety, maybe some different ways. So uh, James, what do you got? Anything that can help us out here? Yeah, absolutely. We've been crazy busy with this new innovative product that we've been working on called Bank Fronted Surety. Bank Fronted Surety provides our clients with the same benefits of replacing a letter of credit with a bond, off balance sheet treatment, improving the company's liquidity, lower costs. It can even be used when the obligee doesn't accept a surety bond. It's a great tool for our clients to have at their disposal. It's awesome. And you're getting some real success with that, huh? Yeah, we've we've seen a lot of great success. A lot of clients love it. Hey, Matt, did he leave us again? Matt, are you there? We... Uh, we'll, hey, you talking oh, to me? Yeah. Hey, oh, you hey. still with us? Yeah, I'm just walking around. You know, right. I, I can't sit in these Zoom things all day. No one can. You can. It's what do you got for us? Anything good? Internationally, uh, we're certainly seeing growth in the surety marketplace. And we're seeing our markets working with banks and creating syndicates, uh, bank surety um, facilities, especially usually where surety bonds are not accepted. And our surety markets are really interested in it. In the UK and other parts of continental Europe, we're also seeing uh, advanced payment bonds be accepted by obligees that weren't accepted um, as much before. So we're growing and risk managers are helping us uh, knock down the doors there and compete with letters of credit. So a lot of good opportunities there internationally for this team to grow. Great news. Uh, Sheila, how about you and Kate? What's going on in Canada? Sheila, you're on mute. Elizabeth, can you help? At the bottom. Jack, what do you got? I think the camera's a little low. There we go. So... We've had a, uh, a few large companies come to us and they've asked us, how can we make better use of our captives? So what we've come up with is almost like a fronting situation where the sureties front for the captive because you have to be a listed, have a treasury rating and, and be an approved surety company. But they basically, the surety fronts for the captive and the captive takes all the risk for the, for the bonds. And basically it, it's a roundabout way of driving down the bond cost for the captive and for the company. Wow, so in other words, uh, you, you take the company, they've got a captive and they can use that captive and get a bonding company to actually front for them so they can write their own bonds. That's fantastic. Let's go back. Sheila, what, what do you got for us? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, we oh, got great. You. Well, there's some wonderful, exciting news coming out of Canada these days, and I thought I'd want to share that with you. Great. Go ahead. Oh, Sheila. Oh, hey, everybody. It looks like M is in the waiting room. Let me see if we can let her in and see what she wants. Where do we do? Okay, there we go. M, is that you? Melanie? Hey, Chad. Uh, I have just been informed by our contacts at the American Red Cross and Rotary that safe drinking water is still a huge issue in the United States and across the world. They have asked for our help and I have volunteered us. So you now have a new mission. And that sounds like a great opportunity for our outreach committee, RMP Cares. So let's put them on that, okay? What else you got? We all need to rendezvous at RIMS, and given everything that's going on, you need to liaison with Dave Cooper. Yeah, I think you're right. And with his background as a CEO and his master's from Oxford, he's the perfect guy for us to reach out to to find out how to make some decisions during these very difficult times. I think that's a great idea. All right, everybody, you heard M. We have our missions. Let's go. It's Melanie. Hey, where'd everybody go? Oh, what a waste of a meeting. <laughs>